Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We have the ThinkPad P71, a workstation that we're trying to make it as a <laughs> gaming laptop. It has a Quadro graphic cards, which is, it's made for, you know, designers and so, but we can try some emulation here on this big uh, device. This is a 17.3 inch uh, screen and it's a 4K. Uh, you, you know about ThinkPad, and you heard a lot about ThinkPad and how good this keyboard and that build quality. Now, uh, what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you what is the bottleneck for gaming in this machine. If you're interested to get some, you know, working machine slash gaming, uh, let me just increase, show you the screen. All right, so here, as you can see, the brightness is really, really good. We ha I have a light on the back, but with full brightness here, it does get really good because this is, I think it's around 500 nits or 150 nits. Uh, it's unplugged, but if I also hit the plug, I'm gonna get more lights. But this is just from the uh, area on the behind. Let me just twist it because of my lights. So let me just quickly tell you what this machine is capable of. Uh, so number one, all emulations from PlayStation 2, uh, PlayStation 1, excuse me, PSP, uh, etc. And um, what else? No, these three emulators, emulations are perfect here. No problem at all. Genshin Impact, uh, here I have it. It does not work well at any possible way. You have to re reduce the resolution to play the game. So... Uh, I need to connect the internet first. Let me just click on it, hit the Wi-Fi. So, um, Genshin Impact, you need to reduce the resolution into um, 720p to get the 60 FPS, but you possibly need to also work with the scaling because uh, as you can see, the screen scaling sometimes give you some bugs or some issues. So this is 1080p, I put it in 1080p because of the scaling. And we're gonna launch the game quickly. Where's the uh, sound? Um, yeah, let's reduce the sound. Speakers are really good, actually. I I would put it up there with the best speakers. Uh, for example, the Zephyrus G14 speakers is the number one speaker in the world right now when it comes to the laptops. I would consider this like number three, maybe number four. Uh, number two, something something else. And I, I didn't see what number two. But for me, I would see it like number three. because I heard really good speakers before, but um, as you can see the graphics here, it's a Windows, uh, a windowed, as you can see. So it's not a full screen, but this is what you get. We're gonna go through the setting with Genshin Impact here. I'm working on the uh, Quadro M620 GPU in this machine, a working machine, working station. Click to begin. So as you can see, there's a lot of frame drops right now, uh, but the processor here is uh, kind of crazy. So look how fast it actually loads. Uh, the processor is really good. Uh, it's a uh, i7, uh, seventh generation, uh, HQ. There you go. You see how slow it is? So let's just quickly look at the setting. Once we get to the setting, graphics, it's 1080p window, a 60, so it doesn't work that way. We can hit, let me just show you, 720p. Now if you wanna go to uh, probably 60 FPS, no. Then you have to go to graphics again. And we're gonna show you a lot of more tricks also how to increase the performance. So now, let's take a look at the custom, medium, put it the lowest, put it at 60, and can we play it? You can still play it, but it's not 60. It's not 60 yet. So in order to get it to play as 60 FPS, you have to plug the uh, the power cord, you have to play uh, on the power cord, so let me, and the uh, power brick. So let me just open the power brick right now. All 
Okay. Oh, it's actually stopped working. What's going on? Oh, it crashed. Okay, <laughs> it crashed as soon as I opened the power button. Now, you know, uh, this GPU actually might have some uh, compatibility issues because it's actually unknown or maybe just uh, maybe the support is not there yet. But it is capable, guys. You can play some games, older games, 720p. You, ha you can play 80p if you drop the, the uh, resolution to the lowest. But as you can see, there you go. That's a nice looking uh, smooth screen. That seems to me like pure 60. No problems at all. Even the loading screens go faster. So yeah, it has a 170 watt uh, power, power plug. Okay. So I need to also go to the second thing about PlayStation 2. So every emulator works here. Every emulator works here except uh, PlayStation 2 and above, okay? Uh, now let me just give you some other information. So let, look how smooth it is right now. Pure 60 FPS, baby. That's it. Let's push it a little bit further, but I know it's not gonna go. Maybe, probably we can. Okay, uh, let's go 1080p lowest. 1080p 60 but let's get to the lowest setting 60 fps 1080p and oh yeah it's possible 1080p guys you can play it 1080p all right so let's just uh, close this game and let's switch to the playstation 2 emulator and uh, now the reason why I want to show you PlayStation 2 emulator is because you can go as far as 4K, native 4K, uh, but it's not native 4K, it's, it's, a, it's a 1080p, but the, the scaling of the graphics is 4K. So what happened with the simulation uh, emulator, if I go, for example, NVIDIA, or if I go to display setting, and I set it to uh, 4K. So if the screen resolution native is 4K, the game will not be played at uh, full screen. I mean, the, the frames is gonna go crazy at 4K. So you have to set it 1080p resolution, main resolution, and then you can scale it to 4K as a resolution, but this is what you can do. If you wanna play it full screen, best uh, possible resolution, best possible performance. Let's go back here. Yeah, everything is good. So, running as fast. So it's really capable here. Uh, I, I told you before this video that I actually did some uh, thermal stop. I uh, reduced the voltage and I got really good uh, FPS increase. And also I installed, let me show you here, MSI burner. When with, with MSI burner, I already overclocked it to the max. As you can see, 1,145. So I, I wasn't playing no games here, man. I just put everything on the max. I maximize everything because at the end of the day, it's a Lenovo, you know, workstation. So you sh this machine should expect extreme performance, right? Should take the heat. It's not like the small laptop. No, it's very thick, big laptop. That's the reason. Um, so let me just go here. I have a loading screen here, system, load, slot one, cool, look at the FPS here, 50, 43, 50, 43, you have some slowdowns, so it's not 60, it's not pure 60. Even if you increase it, if you even put it on full state, a full screen is gonna be slow, as you can see. So that's the one of the issues that you need to deal with. In order to resolve this, go to config, go to video, go to plugin, and reduce the 4K to, for example, 1440p, which is playable. 
but you get of course to get the 60 fps and the beautiful full screen 60 fps smooth gaming also you get to uh, enjoy this the speakers which is really nice now it's a front firing speakers it's the front here so you should get great experience as you can see, my sideburn is, is all, all the max. As you can see, it's not, it didn't get to 50. Now, it depends on the room that you're staying in. Maybe if you're staying at 25 degrees room, 28 degrees room, it's not going to go above 50, probably maximum 55 degrees on the GPU. Other than that, overclocked, of course. Other than that, everything is cool with the PlayStation 2 emulator. So you can play games on the PlayStation 2. Now, people ask me that, hey, what about PlayStation 3? Well, not not all games work in PlayStation 3. Some games does, some games doesn't. For example, the Resident Evil 0, it does work, but you'll get some shaders issue that need to load. It's gonna take some time to go to the next uh, uh, area. Sometimes you get some bugs, so it's not 100% working uh, with the uh, PlayStation 3 emulator. So uh, regarding Dolphin, Dolphin works really good. I can say that uh, because I actually tried it and I did some Zelda or Zelda gaming and it did actually work fine so yeah Dolphin is uh, work but you have to put it in one X of course instead of uh, two or three X so it's perfectly working fine if you play at uh, one X so 2x is gonna be harder because it's not it's hard to emulate these uh, get these emulators working unless you have a GTX uh, whatever graphic card. So that's it, guys. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad uh, P71. If you have one, if you want to purchase a working station and you would like to play some games while you're doing working station, you hit two birds with one stone. Uh, this one gonna play everything except PlayStation Three. Uh, some additions but it's not gonna play at max maximum setting it probably gonna be play uh, the emulation in uh, 1x probably 2x whatever you with a 1x 2x you think about it but it's just it's not gonna go above that so keep that in mind uh, alright guys uh, if you have any questions regarding this uh, working station uh, let me know in the comment section below thank you everybody take care and see you later